And good Sunday morning. Of course, you can see that sunrise coming up behind Jason there and over some of the damage and a, as Jason mentioned, a cold morning outside, but we are expecting some pretty pleasant weather, at least for the next few days. Some sunny skies expected, especially this afternoon. Live view from Carbondale and uh, it is cold. Uh, temperatures right now back into the 20s. Bundle up as you uh, begin your day. Occasionally we have had a breeze from the south. One thing also to note is there is a lot of frost out there this morning on some of the car windshields and on some of the yards. The yard was very crispy this morning, stepping out the door. 29 degrees, wind chills currently at 24. This afternoon, uh, we do expect sunny skies. Uh, winds will turn back out of the south today, and that is at least going to kickstart our next warming trend. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we'll continue that warm up. In fact, by the middle of the week, we're talking once again near record warm temperatures. Chances for some showers begin to go up as well, especially by Thursday and into Friday, and possibly even sticking around into next weekend. But uh, checking in right now, Mount Vernon at 21. We've got Paducah at 26, Cape Fear at 27, Sykeston at 30. We've got uh, 25 right now in Poplar Bluff, and we are really underneath some of the coldest air as we've got 28 in Evansville, 26 right now in Nashville to our north. St. Louis is at 35. Big Doma high pressure taking control across the central U.S. as it starts to pass on by. That's why our winds are going to turn back out of the south on the western side of that. And again, clear skies. We expect a lot of blue sky through the afternoon hours. This is cooled air, but it is dry air that is in place. This afternoon, we do expect temperatures to warm up into the lower 50s, actually above average once again for this time of year. Winds today will cooperate uh, only up to about 10 miles per hour and uh, overnight tonight, maybe not quite as cold tomorrow morning. Still likely going to see some frost in a few spots, but uh, most of us waking up right around the freezing mark on Monday morning. Monday afternoon, winds start to pick back up from the south. Could see some gust over 20 miles per hour and we're talking temperatures then back into the mid 50s, about 55 in uh, Mount Vernon on Monday, 55 as well into Harrisburg and 56 Monday afternoon into Carbondale. Big Doma high pressure will take control, sends the jet stream back to the north, and here comes some warmer air taking hold as well. And uh, that warm air sticks around through at least the middle of the week. 55 Monday, 61 on Tuesday, 68 on Wednesday. That 68 degrees is actually more than 20 degrees above average for this time of year, and the record, I believe, on Wednesday is about 74 degrees. So we will not uh, likely break the record, but we won't be too far away. Make sure you've got that Storm Track 3 app staying up to date with the latest forecast. As we look ahead to the rest of the week, a chance for a couple of showers Tuesday afternoon. And really, it's going to be focused in some of our southern counties. A couple of showers also into Wednesday morning. Thursday, that 65 degrees actually comes in during the morning hours, and then we'll see temperatures fall as our next strong cold front arrives through the day on Thursday. It will continue to fall through the rest of the week and into next weekend. Friday afternoon, we're in the mid 50s with chances for a few showers as that front kind of stalls to our south. More wet weather possible towards next weekend and begins to feel and look a little more like December okay. with temperatures only in the low 40s and so a little more wet weather. Definitely a little different, a little wild right now. It has been, of course, these big swings in temperature mm -hmm. helping to fuel multiple bouts of severe weather here in December. All right, thank you.